C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Sitting alone in the bridal chamber, Yen Ran still couldn't recover from her shock, ever since her father had informed her that she had a fiancé whom she had never met, she had been sent to this ancient castle to be someone else's bride, the most absurd wedding of this century was none other than her, M.O. Yen Ran's, current experience, she was supposed to meet the guy on the first of last month, but she didn't make it because she had a movie to shoot. His father had agreed to his wedding that day in a ridiculous manner. He had always thought it was a joke, but today, his father had cautiously delivered him to an unfamiliar Cadillac. Daughter, as the new wife of another person, you must be obedient and take care. The word, take care, kept lingering in his ears. He was extremely nervous as he sat in the empty house, but there was no trace of Xinlong. This made Yen Ran, who wanted to explain the invalidity of the marriage to the groom, sit obediently in the room and survey everything in it. The curtain of the curtain was so exquisite that it was designed in the Euclidean style. When it was half dot way open, one could still see the view of the night outside. The villa did not have a single trace of celebration, only a clear and cold atmosphere, fortunately, this was modern times, and there was no need for a headscarf or something like that. Otherwise, his eyes would have turned red and he wouldn't have been able to see anything. M.O. Yen Ran, who had never disobeyed her father's orders, regretted staying in this quiet and luxurious room and not resisting her father at all. When she was extremely impatient, her heart thumped in her chest. She looked at this man with eyes like that of a hungry wolf and swallowed her saliva with great difficulty, although the man was handsome and good. Looking, his eyes were too cold. He stared at Yen Ran as if she was a corpse. Step by step, she watched as he slowly walked towards her. Yen Ran's heart was thumping hard, it felt like it was going to jump out at any moment, the man's heavy shadow stopped in front of Yen Ran, and his heart beat like it was about to leap out of his chest, she raised her head and stared at him. At this moment, she had completely forgotten what she had wanted to tell him before, our marriage ends here. Things like that, seeing him take off his clothes, revealing his strong chest and firm muscles, she didn't know what this man wanted to do. It wasn't until that man unhappily reached his hand out to take off her clothes that she gave a startled cry and jumped up. Let go of me, you. What are you doing? Who is this man? Was it his groom? Or someone else? As the strength in her hands increased, her chest turned cold. To her horror, her clothes were torn apart by him just like that. Looking at the woman in front of him, the man narrowed his eyes and a blood-devouring light shone through his eyes. I, we can't. She blushed and stuttered as she explained. She tried her best to cover her chest, but she didn't know that such a posture would appear in the man's eyes as if she wanted to refuse it, the man's eyes narrowed even tighter as he looked at her. His mouth opened into an unpleasant laugh. I didn't expect this gift to be so good. Just this body is enough to make people like her. The man's eyes reddened slightly. She took another step forward, and that thick shadow pressed Yen Ran back helplessly. When his foot touched the bed, she fell down onto it, caught off guard, she reached for the edge of the bed, the man's breathing once again became a bit rough. He extended his hand and violently attacked her chest, she screamed and waved her hand at him, her body turned to the side, trying to get out of his way. It seems that the girl I found today is a girl who loves to play. The man smiled sinisterly again. The smile in her eyes was unreachable, causing Yen Ran's heart to skip a beat, she didn't understand what the man meant by those words. She only knew that she was in extreme danger. Go away, we're not getting married anymore. I'm just here to tell you that I don't agree to this marriage. She helplessly curled up into a ball and kept glancing at the door, trying to find an opportunity to escape. Ha! Huh. This is so interesting, I didn't expect to get married. The man mumbled to himself as he squinted his eyes and looked at the woman in front of him with a smile, the most ridiculous thing was that her expression was as pitiful as a little white rabbit who had been abandoned in a wolf's den. Her misty eyes were covered by a layer of tears, making her look even more pitiful. His body was also trembling, due to her fear, she bit her cherry blossom lips. It was very, very pitiful, very annoying. 
Not bad, not bad. He didn't expect these people to arrange things so interesting for him, seeing the understanding look in the man's eyes, Yen Ran trembled even more fiercely. Seeing him continue to move forward, she continued to retreat. One hand was covering her chest while the other was groping for something behind him, when the man held out his hand, she grabbed a lamp, gritted her teeth, and violently attacked the man who dared to violate her, the man's gaze sharpened as he coldly snorted. She nimbly dodged the lamp. A wisp of cold light sprang out from his eyes, and he sneered as he slapped Yenron's face. You really dare to play? Women nowadays, in order to achieve a realistic effect, they really dared to do it. The man thought as if it was only natural, but he didn't know that he had fallen into someone else's trap. The man's rage caused him to slap her so hard that she became stupefied. She was lying on the bed with stars still shining in her eyes but the man was holding her chin and his mouth was moving closer to hers. The strong smell of alcohol along with the aura of this man violently assaulted her senses. Yen Ran shook her head vigorously, trying to avoid his every step by which she was pressing her down. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.